wasn't good at math, and I actually felt like I was good at math this year because I understood what I was doing. I was watching one of her videos, I remember, and I was just like, oh my gosh, I remember how to do this now. I can do it. And I did my assignment and I handed it in early and I just felt so accomplished that I got it done. She's interested in what you are doing and she's interested in the work you're doing. And that makes her a really a dynamic teacher. Ms. Robin's a great teacher because uh, she elaborates everything. So like, if you're stuck on something, she'll keep working with you until you figure out what to do next. Seeing that she can do it, it motivates me to know that my students can do it too, as long as they have the teacher that supports them, respects them. So it's nice to have Jessica close, kind of in my back pocket with those new fresh ideas. She's always looking for something new that will make it better for the kids. She challenges kids. She empowers them to do things their own way, to think things through on their own and come up with different answers. The students like that. Coming into her classroom was a fresh change. It changed all of math for me. It was like a light bulb moment. I was like, whoa, so this is how you do it. I feel like one of the things, one of the sayings that I really like is, have you been teaching for 16 years or have you been teaching the same year 16 times? And I feel like if the answer is the same year 16 times, then it's time to get out there and it's time to learn about new things. And so that's, I'd love to see just teachers growing and learning together. If you could imagine your best lesson and your best class period, what would be happening? And their answers are the things that I see every day. The, the kids engaged, the kids wanting to solve a problem, the kids talking to each other about math, and the stuff that I see every day. And so I really wish that people could have their dream lesson every day like I do. One of the big arguments math teachers give to people about why kids should learn math is that they can problem solve. Unfortunately, the traditional way of teaching math doesn't encourage problem solving. And so I really hope that as kids grow up and leave here and have gone through this process, that when they get to a challenge, whether it be finding something or figuring out a solution to a problem that they're having, that they're willing to at least start the problem and try it out and, um, and that they're also used to working with other people, that they know how to discuss a problem with someone else. It's one of the big things we do in here is work with other people. And so how can they start the conversation with someone else so that maybe their ideas can now help them move forward in their problems. I really hope, um, seeing my story, people, first off, teachers realize that there's more that they can do than the traditional lecture, um, that there's lots more opportunity out there for getting your kids engaged and teaching your kids different things. And so I really hope that they start looking for other things besides just the lecture. I also hope that as far as other schools seeing it, that they realize that their teachers should be getting out and learning more, that there's you know, the thinking classroom, there's flip classroom, there's all kinds of stuff that people can be doing. And so giving them the opportunity to do that. I know that I'm a good educator. I know that I work really hard and I know that I'm doing things that are best for students. Because they're learning, I, it makes me happy, and so it's easy to keep going forward with the positivity and the, and the enthusiasm because they're bringing it.